little bit of just some uh, warming the muscle work before the game starts here at Agra uh, Chester in all yellow. Harriers keeper Brandon Hall in all sky blue and his opposite number Grant Shenton in all green. There's a big following from Chester here, probably about three to four hundred uh, follow travelling supporters for Mark Yates's first game back in charge of Kidderminster Harriers. His last was against Matlock. In the FA Trophy, for those of us who remember that far back, he is winning 2-0 that day. Well, Mark Yates ventured off to past his new. He's now back here at Agra for the final 14 games of this campaign. To try and uh, ensure that this team makes its way through to the playoffs at the end of the season. The keeper, he's let it go. Can I I get in front of his man almost? Good covering back there from Waters. Chester, are they? Defensively, they are in six and seven land there, weren't they? Goalkeeper made an error and thought nothing of it. There he is. Get the ball back through weeks. Play through the middle to Ironside now. Can he find a finish? Little chip ball, but it's just over the top. Weeks finding him down the centre of the farm. Come close to him, gets it to Butterfield. Butterfield battling away. Good work there from the Harriers youngster. Little step over into Chambers. Chambers to Clayton Phillips. Clayton Phillips almost tackled by Chambers as he makes his way across the area. Fires in a shot, but it's just dragged wide. Oh, They've already taken. Harriers have got to work a little harder off the ball as Santi gets the ball through. Santi with only the keeper to beat on the first half and on target from the visitors. He's swept into the back of the net by a quasi Santi. Nine minutes before the break. And out of the blue, Harriers find themselves a goal behind. away from the on-rushing captain, ball hit across field. And McAlinden will chase, collects on this left side of the field. McAlinden against Thompson, trying to cut into the air, goes beyond him. Can he find a delivery? He can towards the far post, but again, headed down by Chambers. Shot from Weeks, and it's there! The equalising goal, four minutes before the break. McAlinden with the cross. A cushioned header down by Chambers. And a delightfully swept home volley from a right-footed effort from Declan Weeks. McAlinden it is. Chip ball towards the near post and a goal for Joe Ironside. Harriers have come from behind to take the lead. Ironside it is, rising unamosed inside the six-yard box. Firm header from McAlinden's right wing corner and Harriers lead 2 1. Two teams leading at half time. Half time arrives here at Agbra. And it is indeed good news on the return of Mark Yates as manager to include him in there. Almost six. Weak steps over it. McAlinden with the effort. It was dipping. It's uh, fractionally too late. Yeah, 104.6 FM and online as the ball's dead. Clayton Phillips into the area, goes round two or three, driven into the midriff of the goalkeeper. Uh, from the Harriers fans as Ironside chases the ball down on this near side in front of our commentary position. Good work from Ironside, finds Nick Clayton Phillips again. Clayton Phillips weaving his magic into the area. Stands on the ground, the referee says it went for the ball, it's played in, Butterfield with a low effort. Oh! Oh, that's uh, applause ringing. Technical area, arms folded. Bellowing instructions, good work there from McAlinden, finds Ironside, who's shot <laughs> on the turn. Well, it's Roberts' clearance is headed back in field by Johnson, he's going to drop down, long-range effort coming in this time by Anthony Dudley. Right. Harriers have taken the free kick quickly and short, and Weeks is trying to get McAlinden in, left-hand side, lovely ball in, it's powered away, and Ryan Johnson stabs home goal number three. McAlinden again the provider. The keeper, Shenton, could only parry out the left-wing cross, and Ryan Johnson, cool as you like, right-footed, side-footed, bottom corner of the net, 3-1 and surely now Harriers will have seen off the threat of Chester corner into the danger zone again free header at the far post headed away by Butterfield so probably another yeah I don't think it's going to be a difficult one isn't it Harriers get the ball out to McAlinden on this right hand side of the field but only left footed 
Gets the ball back onto his left foot again. Can he put a cross? Oh, lovely little ball into Ed Williams. First touch in the game. Gets it back to McAlinden. Low shot. And that wasn't far away. And that perhaps with the industry that McAlinden has shown, really is, it's almost like defence the attack. As the ball's played in, Williams on the run into the area. And the shot is saved. Roberts has done him and he's found Trustlove. Trustlove checks on the halfway line. Up to Williams. Milan Butterfield. Out to the centre of the park. Weeks is there. Little ball in. Williams has found space again to run in again. 25 yards out. And a goal! For the returning Eddie Williams. Harriers go four up. 87 minutes in. He's only been on the field 15 minutes. And he returns to strike a long-range effort with his right foot into the bottom right corner of Grant Shenton's goal. Looking for movement right-hand side. Trustler firing out to McAlinden. Is there a goal for McAlinden in this party? Gets to the byline, little chip ball in, and a header! And no goal offside against Liam Trustlove. Butterfield, 30 yards from goal. The referee brings it to an end. You can hear the delight from the Harriers fans here inside Agbra. Mark Yates is victorious upon his return to management of the club he left nine and a half years ago.